Donald Trump's proposal to ban mortgage loans for illegal immigrants cut straight into the heart of the immigration debate, igniting a fierce dialogue about justice, fairness, and national priorities. The phrase, what bank loans money to illegal liens, rings out like a challenge, casting doubt on the system's integrity. His skepticism is sharp, embedded in statements like, any other false promise, questioning whether his own vow can truly come to fruition. For the public, this feels like more than just political theater. It's a calculated move to address the swelling concerns over housing affordability and the proper allocation of resources. We also cannot ignore the impact that the flood of 21 million illegal aliens has had on driving up housing costs. That's why my plan will ban mortgages for illegal aliens in California. They're passing a law where they're going to give, Calif we're going to give illegal aliens money to buy a house. But our soldiers, our veterans that are laying on the streets, they can't have them. You have soldiers right now laying on the streets of different cities, all Democrat run. They're laying on the streets in front of hotels, in some cases, luxury hotels. And you have illegal immigrants coming in and living in those hotels and laughing at our soldiers as they walk by into a luxury lobby. Is there something wrong with that thinking? Is there something wrong with our country? If the core of the issue lies in the demand for lower housing costs for U.S. citizens. This resonates deeply with conservative values, placing the spotlight on domestic needs and the argument that American resources should be reserved for its people. Trump's focus on veterans, contrasting their plight with the supposedly cushy treatment of illegal immigrants, strikes an emotional chord, stirring up not just frustration, but a profound sense of injustice. The message is clear. The nation must prioritize its own, ensuring that citizens, especially those who have served, aren't left behind while non-citizens seemingly benefit from taxpayer resources. Beneath the surface, this issue taps into a broader social tension. Trump's rhetoric sparks a conflict between personal empathy and collective responsibility. Should a country offer support to outsiders while its own veterans struggle? His words provoke an internal battle within the public consciousness, forcing individuals to reconcile compassion with a perceived duty to protect the nation's integrity. This isn't just about immigration. It's about a deeper struggle to maintain justice, fairness, and the essence of what it means to be American amidst a landscape of swirling, contentious debates, 